Hey, welcome to Dan's Model Works, and I know this isn't the normal intro. Don't have a pretty box to look at, but this is something I ordered about ooh, a week and a half ago, and I suppose the best way to describe this is this is an this is an up and coming project. Probably not going to be working on it right away, but um, I ordered this. I'm pretty excited about it. And actually, in the last few days, I took a trip in order to do a little bit of research for this project. And that's going to be the subject of an upcoming video. And basically what it comes down to is I didn't do any modeling this week. Too bad. So sad. I've uh, been taking day trips with the kids. We've been doing some other stuff. Been helping my mom out doing some stuff. But, yes, one of the trips I took was to... Uh, do some videos on some prototypes and those videos are going to be coming out over the next few months. I hope you guys enjoy them. But the subject of one of these is what we should find in this box which is a conversion kit for a Dodge CNT 900-9000 which is the Dodge Heavy Conventional Truck. And I've ordered this from American Industrial Models, and I will put a link to their website in the description. So if you want to check out their website, you can. And as you can see, I haven't even broken the tape yet. So we're all going to learn what's in here at the same time. How is it possible for a modeler not to have a knife handy? Really? Seriously? So, at least I didn't have to resort to one of my box cutters from work. So, let's just slice that. I'm assuming there's some sort of safety packaging inside here. What we got? A sturdy newsprint here. What we got? Oh, hey. This used to be uh, some sort of Kellogg's Mini Wheats. Frosted Mini Wheats. The club size. All right. Somebody likes their fiber. Get that out of the way. So, this is a Dodge CNT 900. I'm assuming that's the American price. I know by the time we converted it to loonies, it was a bit more. What we got going on here? Lots of bubble wrap. Good. So we want to see. Nothing in here. And. Oh, this is awesome. That is cool. What else we got here? Let's see, that's the, the interior. And there is the muffler. And, and we have a pattern for cutting the acetate. Dodge CNT rear window, side window. Put that back in there for safekeeping. Not that I don't have acetate to use, but let's take a look at what we got here. Dump the goodies out. We have an air cleaner, and that looks pretty good. And we have the interior. That looks vaguely familiar, having climbed all over one of these in the past few days. And we have the exhaust stack. That looks pretty good. No concerns there. We've got a couple of seats. And well, whatever the hell this is. Oh, this is the air ride seat mechanism. That's pretty cool. And we've got front bumper. And then in this little pouch here, 
dig this out. Dig it open. There, now that we have something to contain the bits and pieces. Don't want to bend anything or break anything here. There we go. Bit of a struggle, but we got everything out. So it comes with some decals, which are pretty cool. Let's focus on that. Dodge Diesel 900. They look exactly as they should. And here are some Dodge Heavy Truck script. That looks good. And this is the rear view mirror. Uh, probably could use a little bit of cleanup, but that's not too, too bad. And here's the steering wheel. And these, well, this would be steering column. And not sure what that is. And these are an alternate set of headlight buckets because Dodge CNTs came with an option of the, the dual headlights or large single headlights with those giant pie plate uh, bezels that go around. So, and this is all you get. You have to find the rest yourself. So, you can either use another truck kit as a donor, or you can do as I'm planning on doing and taking a donor kit, but I'm actually going to use the parts. I'm going to copy a lot of the parts in resin. So, I don't foresee that as being a huge difficulty. And as I sort through some parts that are laying around here, here's one of the resin parts that I've cast from other kits and as you can see I'm pretty sure the material is basically identical that American Industrial Models is using so I I have plans for this they might change um, I'm 99% sure I'm gonna be building it as a diesel so I'm gonna be using the the air cleaner but these Dodge CNTs were used for well, quite a number of different uses. Uh, and some of them had Detroit diesels in them, some had Cummins, and some had Perkins. At least according to Wikipedia. So I think this is going to be cool. Now, I'm not exactly sure how they run their inventory at American Industrial Models. I know when I ordered this, it was down as the last one in stock and as soon as I ordered it went down to none left in stock but I checked the website today and it said one left in stock so maybe what he does is maybe when he he only keeps maybe one or two of these on hand at any given time so when somebody orders one then he'll mail it off and then he basically recasts another one um, and you know what that's probably a smart way of doing it it means you've always got one to ship but at the same time if it's not a very popular subject you're not going to cast up you know 10 dozen of these things and then have them sit forever resin is expensive cab is a little bit thick but you know what having looked at the real thing the uh the doors were pretty thick on the real thing anyway so the pity is i think it will be difficult nay impossible to have the hood and fenders open up like they do on the real thing. And as you will hopefully see on the video when I release it, not even sure when I'm going to reduce it, release it. But the way these Dodge trucks opened up so you could get at the engine was really cool. Not what you expect at all. So we have an up and coming future project. I am not going to make any promises when. I'm not going to say, yes, I'm going to work on this one next. I'm not going to say I'll be working on it in the fall. Who knows, it might be a year or two before I get to it. But I am looking forward to working on it, and it's probably going to be a sooner rather than later project. So as for wheels, I'm thinking I'm probably going to be copying the wheels from AMT's 
uh, C series truck because I have one of those I haven't built yet. So if I make some decent molds, that'll be a set of spoked wheels I'm able to use in the future for other projects as well. So uh, I apologize for not having any progress on the racer's wedge or the condor this week. Like I said, I was hanging out with the kids. We were doing some day trips, basically a uh, birthday special for each of the twins. So that was one trip each. And uh, as well as that, I've, I'm sure my mom probably isn't happy with how much I've done for her, but I need to do some stuff for her. So not a whole lot of modeling being done this week. But at least I can show you this cool thing that hopefully will be built oh, within the next year, year and a half. That's about all the promises I can make. So, until next time, thanks for watching Dan's Model Works, and just keep on modeling.